Hello, thank you for joining us today. My name is Angelo and I'm an advisor here at WealthMess. With all the options of where you can potentially invest your money, the financial market is by far the most popular option. You've probably heard a financial guru or your family or friend telling you to buy this particular investment because it'll be the next big thing. More often, this is not really true. Ultimately, everyone has the same goal, to grow their wealth and secure their financial future. So the question then arises, when it comes to investing in the market, what strategy is best for me? Two approaches which are fundamentally different are timing the market and the buy and hold strategy. The buy and hold strategy is exactly as it sounds. It involves purchasing investments and holding on to them for an extended period, typically years, even decades. This long-term approach has the core philosophy of despite the financial market's volatility, in the long run, the market tends to appreciate over time. The advantage of the buy and hold strategy is its overall simplicity. And with simplicity, it reduces transaction costs associated with frequent trading. Not to mention this strategy avoids the emotional decision-making side of short-term investing. A drawback of the buy and hold strategy is the potential of missed opportunities when investors may miss out on the gains short-term investments have to offer. This brings us to our next strategy of actively buying and selling investments based off predictions in the short-term market. This strategy is a solution to investors who are convinced there's periods of ideal times one can invest. Disclaimer, predicting when the market will be high or low is only achieved in hindsight. Nobody can predict the future, and the combination of unprecedented events throughout history mixed with human behavior or the emotions of the market are consistently causing the market to move. An advantage of the strategy is the ability to adapt to the current market conditions. The main drawback of the strategy is the difficulty of predicting when the movements within the market will occur. In conclusion, the choice of which strategy depends on the investor. Factors such as risk tolerance, time horizons, and financial goals are all key factors. It's crucial to have a well-thought-out plan and diversified approach regardless of the strategy. As always, thank you for joining us, and I'll see you next time.